you guys were not. I, I, oh, you were. You were in. Uh, actually, you were in our preseason. I was in Portland as well. I want to cover playoff hockey in Vancouver. I want the fans to enjoy and experience playoff hockey in Vancouver. I want the Canucks to win a Stanley Cup for this city. And looking at Raptors Twitter right now, a fade for Cade. I feel like a lot of them are, are, are you know, would, would love to see, would love to see him there. I mean, I'm not advocating for that, but I mean, I know that's that's big on Raptors Twitter minds these days. There's a lot of t- a lot of Twitter warriors out there. LA gave one out to. You. To, uh, to Jared Goff, and they've already moved on. Right. They didn't think that that could work. So. It's all good. It's in it. It's in the box. It's in the box. Okay. For the unnamed sports show, here's your host, Joshua Griffith. Yes. Thank you, Don Andrews. And yes, I am your host, Joshua Griffith, here on the Sports Talk Line Network, where we talk sports 24-7, 365. This is the Unnamed Sports Show. I hope that everyone enjoyed that brand new revamped introduction. I want to give a special thank you to The Matinee, Don Andrews, of course, and my producer, Lucas, for all their help putting that together. So I hope that everyone really enjoyed that, being the music and the voice for the Unnamed Sports Show. If you don't already, make sure to check out The Matinee's music on Spotify or wherever you get your music. They are a fantastic local band out of Vancouver. So today on the show, I am so thrilled to be joined by Vancouver Whitecaps FC forward and Canadian men's national under 23 member, Theo Bear. So the Caps kick off their season on April 18th. I wanted to chat with Theo, get caught up about his off season, his time with the Canadian men's national team, and kind of look ahead to this season. Um, Bit of fun stuff, of course, at the end, as I like to do. But before we get to that interview, make sure that you like the video down below, subscribe to the Sports Talk Line channel, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the interview and the White Cap season in general. So without further ado, let's get right to this interview with Vancouver White Caps forward, Theo Bear. All right, so I'm thrilled to be joined now on the Unnamed Sports Show by Theo Bear of the Vancouver Whitecaps and the Canadian Men's National Under-23 team. Theo, thank you so much for joining me today. First off, how are you doing? How is the family? You guys staying safe and healthy? Yeah, everything's great. Um, just moved out to Salt Lake. Families get back home in Ottawa. Um, just one sister in Vancouver um, driving as well. So everything's good. Good. Yeah, you've been a, a bit of a traveler lately. So uh, how has everything been settling into Portland? Uh, how's the accommodations and everything like that? Yeah, so it's like, it's very nice. Um, there's no complaints at all. The <laughs> apartments are very nice. Uh, every, the training is, is good. The facility is nice. I think that they've uh, accommodated as well. The the backdrop for uh, for Tuesday's preseason game was, was absolutely breathtaking with the mountains yeah. in the background. So <laughs> if you're going to be, you know, sequestered away from home, it's definitely not that bad of a place to be. So I agree. I agree. So the team is obviously become road warriors in the last couple of seasons. Um, how, how difficult has it been for you being away from your family for so long? As I know that's something that's really important to you. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little used to it because I left at such a young age. Um, it is difficult to say the least, but um, they understand that that what I'm doing is worth it and that um, that I'm I'm doing I'm, I'm being successful. So as long as it stays that way, then uh, they have no issue with me being away from them. Well, that's good. And, and like you said, yeah, you have been successful. Just returned from a, a call up to the Canadian national men's under 23 team, obviously not the, the result that you guys wanted, but how was the experience for you to play on that kind of a stage under uh, Mauro Biello? I think it was, it was a very interesting tournament to, to see the level of, of play and to see that Canada can compete at that level of play was, yeah. was very, very nice to, to see. I'm unfortunate how it ended obviously, but, um, I think it was a learning experience for everyone that was on the team and that um, everyone grew from it and, and gets to come back to their clubs and and go into preseason strong. I mean, obviously, experiences like that, you know, you get to be to be with players that you've you know grown up with playing in the in the national teams and stuff. What, what was one of the, the coolest experiences for that just that tournament that, that you had? I mean, I got to see 
I've been playing against Ryan Raposo and Tejan Buchanan since I was probably, I want to say like 12, so or maybe even 11. So getting to see those guys uh, with me on the Canadian national team and see where we've come from, from, from so far away from, from almost nothing basically to, to all playing together was, uh, it's the stuff of dreams, right? So it's really cool. I'm happy for those boys. And I'm, I'm happy for all the boys that, I got their chance. I was really happy to to see Patrick and Baldy play so well and Derek play so well um, and have all our Caps boys in at a national team camp is really cool. You guys represent for the Caps. It was really nice to see. Mm-hmm. Um, so how, how was it overall to just represent your country? And then obviously, you know, you last year in your debut, you scored the goal against Barbados. Um, what's it just been like overall, I guess, the experience with Canada and the national team? I mean, it's amazing. You're with you're with people that you love. You're smiling all the time. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's like being with your brothers constantly. And um, yeah, it's 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 quite the experience. The coaches make it very simple and easy for you to 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 know the tactics to to play. Um, and the players are just everyone's accommodating. Even when I was with the first team, obviously I was nervous the first time, but they were all very accommodating. Treated me like uh, like I was part of the family, and I am part of the family now. So. It was it was an amazing experience for sure. Uh, it really shows, and you can you can kind of hear your excitement when you talk about it. So that, that's really cool. Uh, so I'm I'm joined now by Theo Bear of the Vancouver Whitecaps, and I want to get into this year a bit, but I kind of want to look back at you last year and kind of get an idea of where all of your motivation came for this off season. Yeah, well, last year wasn't the the best year for me, and I don't think it was the best year for a lot of people. I've, I've spoken about this quite quite a bit. Um, COVID was was difficult for everyone, including myself. Um, but it was an opportunity for me to reflect on who I am as a player, who I am as a person, and what I what I want to be and what I strive to be, basically. So it's all about. I think I think it's all about leveling up. And COVID kind of slowed it down a little bit, but um, the MLS is getting better, and that means I have to get better as well. And I I, I want to strive past that MLS as well. So um, yeah, I think the motivation came from. I have to be the best player I can be, especially if I want to get on the on the field and get minutes and be in the starting eleven, be in the eighteen, whatever it, it may be, and uh, and complete my goals. Well, one of the reasons that I, I really tried hard to, to to get you on the show and to chat with you because I, mean, I see your motivation and I see your goals and from year to year and the and the growth just you know from meeting you as a fan a couple of years ago and then covering the team down in San Diego last year. Um, where do you like where where is the ceiling for Theo Bear? I mean, because it sounds like what you said. You I mean like MLS isn't isn't the end for you, right? Well, that that's that's to see. I guess um, the future is exciting, um, but right now I just wanna I want to get healthy. I, I everyone knows that I have slight knee issues. I've always had them since I was in academy, but. Um, they're getting better. I'm treating them better. I'm being more professional about them, taking care of them every day. So I think uh, a healthy Theo Bear is what I'm striving for at the moment. And once once we get that, then then we'll we'll see what happens. How has the um, the organization and stuff helped with the your off season programs and and training and stuff? And and I mean, obviously you've spent some time in the gym this year. Um, I think the white the white caps posted a picture. I think of their new uniforms, and you were basically ripping out of it. Um, so like it, how much of the, the white caps in the organization helped in, in that aspect for you? An unbelievable amount. Uh, I, I can't thank, uh, John Poli, Max, all of the staff, all of the physios. Um, they, they created a, a perfect plan for me, told me what to do. I've had Emma help me with my diet and make sure that I ate properly. And I think that it's, it's, it's genuinely made me feel better as a player and, and, um, Again, it's part of the growth, you know, it's, it's a learning curve. I, I grew up, I, I came to the academy. I, I was like, oh, I can just see whatever I want. My metabolism's fast enough, <laughs> all that stuff, you know? So this is, uh, it, it was, a, again, it's a learning curve to have to adapt, to be in the gym all the time, to, to eat really, really well. But uh, I think that it's, it's well worth it. I, I, I think so too. Um, I, you know, I hope, I hope the Whitecaps fans will, will see it on the pitch this year. So, you know, we have a very young white cap squad, but there's a strong veteran presence around the team. Um, you know, in past articles in one written by JJ Adams of the province, you know, you mentioned kind of Freddie Montero helped you out. 
who's now a sounder, um, Andy Rose to St. Ricketts. Um, how valuable has it been to be able to check in with players like that who have been th through so much, have had those type of experiences? I mean, that, that experience uh, helps you grow as a player again. Um, they, those guys have a, a tremendous amount of insight. They teach, teach me things that I, I wouldn't even have thought of before, which is, uh, which is saying a lot about their characters and how they are and how they've been as pros over the years. Um, they're great guys off the field and unbelievable guys on the field as well. Um, and I just want to pick their brains and get whatever I can. And it, it really does help me, helps me stay level, stay humble and, and, and keep learning. So how is the, I mean, obviously Mark DeSantos talked last week about everybody was just trying to finalize plans, getting things ready for the family and their dogs, moving things over and stuff. Um, how has the locker room been and the team kind of been adjusting to the, the move down to Utah? I mean, everyone has a smile on their face. So my assumption is uh, it's not too bad. And uh, we're, we're in great living conditions. Um, we're all like, it's a happy locker room. We're all good friends. Once we get on the pitch, it's it's all business. But uh, I think that that we have a very good group on our hands. Well, I'm, I'm joined by Theo Bear here. Theo Bear here, and uh, Theo, I won't take up much more of your time. But who who controls the music in the locker room right now? Um, I mean, it depends. There's a lot of Spanish music given the amount of Spanish guys we yeah. have. Um, but it, it kind of jumps around. Actually, Jervain, one of the new guys, was on on the music yesterday in the locker room. So it. It, who knows you can walk in and it can be someone different every day it's it's a good it's a good locker who's got the worst taste of music worst taste you don't have to throw anybody under the bus i understand it <laughs> taste. honestly like right now we have a pretty i think we have a pretty solid team for music nice when we, when we had yasser it was a little shaky but <laughs> 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 you play the edm and everything but it hurt my ears but um, no, uh, I think, I think the locker room is good for music. That's fantastic. So, uh, you know, a look ahead to, to this season last year, you had 16 appearances, 16th game started. What, what's your goals for, for the 21, 2021 season for the Whitecaps? Well, I, I don't like to say too much, but, um, obviously I, it's out of, out wanna, of your control and stuff. Yeah. I want to break into the 18. I want to break into the 11. That's the, that's the goal, obviously, um, it's a it's a big one and it's it's something that I'm I'm, I'm going to work hard for, but uh, whether I I'm in the eleven or in the eighteen, I just want to help the team and and wh whatever coach asks for me and whatever I can do once I'm on the field, I'm going to do it. Well, um, from you know having chatted with Mark for you know a couple of years now and the way that he really, I guess, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think of the word for it, but like. The importance, sorry, the importance that he places on on training and working hard every day, every training session. And from your, you know, from what you're saying, it, it sounds like it is going to be a, a pretty good year for you, Theo. So yeah, I'm excited. I think I think that this is going to be a good year for not only me but for Whitecaps as an organization. Yes, Whitecaps and and then Whitecaps fans too. So I have a couple more just fun questions, if you don't mind. If um if Nathan's not just going like waving and saying stop it. <laughs> He's good. He's good. He's good. He's smiling. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. So, um, yeah, we'll go some fun questions here. What's your, um, what's your favorite meal or your, like your pregame meal, postgame meal, just favorite meal. Favorite meal just in general. Yeah. Probably steak and salad. I keep it simple, but if we're going to get really serious and not talking about diet Theo, then it's probably oxtail and rice and peas or something like that. Some Jamaican food. Oh, oxtail. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what? Who is your favorite football player growing up? Who's your role model? Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. So, what was it like to uh, to meet him uh, and stuff? I mean, for me, even getting to cover the games. I mean, I, I got to do the post presser and I asked Thierry yeah. one question. I think I was sweating like profusely when I <laughs> asked him one. Um, so, what was it like to you know to to play against him, having him on the the opposite coach line? I mean, I, my only goal of the season was against him as well. I, I had a, a five-minute chat with him after that game, and he he told me just to keep going, keep keep working. I'm a good player. Just just make sure that I I keep pushing. So it was it was it was nice to get some insight from from my idol and got to 
got to shake his hand. I have the video saved on my phone because that's. that's yes. cool. but, Dude, um, I'm, I mean, I have the stuff, the pictures in the background so yeah. of all that too. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, then that's so cool to hear that. Like, e- e- even for you, someone like who's, who's a professional soccer player, but just like meeting someone like that, you're like, wow, like this, this is an experience. And, and to be able to score a goal in front of them too, like, holy smokes, I bet you were just ear to ear. Of course, man. And, and I was, uh, luckily I was already sweating when I came off the field, so he couldn't see on my screen when I was talking to him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the guy that I watch every night before I went to sleep. My parents would come into my room and be like, hey, you'll go to sleep. I'd be watching uh, videos of Thierry Henry. So, um, it was amazing to be able to meet him and to be able to score and to have a, have a chat with him as well. Okay. Well, you know, you know, you mentioned your family again here. It, it seems like your family is your biggest fan. Hundred <laughs> percent. I, uh, my dad, no matter what time the game, I will watch the game um, deep into the night if he has to. Um, my mom works like very early, so she will she will stay as long as she can as well. And honestly, most of the time is there as well. My sisters watch. Um, even my sister's boyfriends are watching at the moment. So it's like, um, yeah, my family's my my biggest supporter. And that's, that's really cool. And that's really important. And I know that's important to you. So Theo, um, thank you so much for joining me today and, and chatting. I know you guys are had training today and training tomorrow. And then you're traveling off to Chicago for the games on Saturday. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, are you, are you excited for the preseason doubleheader here and get the season kicked off on the 18th? Of course. Yeah. And getting, getting to play some games before we, we get into the real thing is, is really exciting. So, um, yeah, just just look forward to, to Saturday. Fantastic. Okay, well, do you have any messages for Whitecaps fans this year? Just enjoy every moment. We're going to have a good year. Let's go. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Theo. Um, have a fantastic rest of the day and safe travels for you and the team tomorrow. Thanks for having me, man. Talk okay. to you soon. All right. So I hope that everyone enjoyed that conversation with Theo as much as I did. It was a lot of fun to catch up with him. I uh, haven't chatted since um, since San Diego, actually. Uh, so it was good to see how his offseason was progressing and get caught up with everything uh, with the team coming down in Utah. So the Whitecaps get their season underway on April 18th. Like I said, they have a home date in Sandy, Utah, against the Portland Timbers. But before that, we have a doubleheader action this Saturday on the 10th against Chicago Fire starting in the morning and then against Indy 11, the USL champions just after that. So we'll be a split squad and in media availability on Wednesday, Mark DeSantos uh, hinted to the fact that he will most likely split up the squads into a, a main squad, one that we'll probably see on the 18th and then more of a younger squad with um, some of the academy players and, and the younger kids. So that will be exciting to see all of that action kick off on Saturday for preseason. And the Vancouver Whitecaps will be streaming that live. So make sure you check out their website, www.vancouverwhitecapsfc.com. And uh, you'll be able to, to enjoy all the action. I will obviously have you covered pregame, during the game, postgame. So make sure to follow my Twitter at Joshua Griffith zero make sure to check back here on the sports talk line youtube channel after the game and also check out our website at www.sportstalkline.com completely revamped interactive website as well so if you don't already have an account and you haven't joined make sure to do that it's uh it's, it's a lot of fun it's basically just a big facebook or twitter but it's for sports only and we moderated it, so there's no yeah you know what i'm talking about there's moderation on it Um, So thank you very much for joining me today on the Unnamed Sports Show. Make sure to tune in every week at Thursday at 3 p.m. Sometimes there's bonus episodes. I don't know when they're going to come. Sometimes my guests just need to get the interviews done right away. So um, for the Sports Talk by Network, I have been your host, Joshua Griffith, here on the Unnamed Sports Show. And remember, sports fans love sports, all sports.